memorize with, um, with good content. Memorize with good content. Now, let me just say this. The whole Bible is good content, okay? The whole Bible, everything from front, from, 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 from Genesis to Revelation, it's, it's all good content. We, 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 don't have to, um, we don't have to ask ourselves what is good content and what isn't good content because the whole thing is good content, but to some extent, we have to understand that we need to memorize the good stuff. We need to memorize the good content. Uh, years ago, I, 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 I began to prepare my first message ever, and, uh, and, and I, I went, to, uh, went to one of the professors in the Bible college, and I said, I, I'm just struggling at what to, uh, what to preach on, and he opened the Bible, and he pointed. And he said, that's a good passage. And then he flipped a, a, a stack of papers, and he, he didn't even look. And he said, that's a good passage. And he flipped another chunk, and he said, oh, this is a good one, too. And making eye contact with me the whole time. And the reason he did that was for effect, of course. He wanted to show me that all Bible, the whole Bible is all relevant. The whole thing, all of it. We don't have to guess our way through it. It's all good. Second Peter 1.3 says this. He's referring to God. He have given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Everything is good. There's not one thing that's in there that isn't good. It's all profitable. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. That means it's good for, it's good content. Is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God uh, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. So all the scripture is good. It's all profitable that you might be the guy, the person that God wants you to be. It's all good content. So I, I, I don't want to say that there's, that there's not good content. I just think that there might be, at times, better content. So, and here's what I mean by that. Here's what I mean by that. Two things, two things when you memorize with good content, two ways to memorize things that are just are really good. First of all, first of all, now it, has to be, it has to be impressionable to you. And secondly, it has to be impactful to others. So impressionable to you and impactful to others. Let's talk about being impressionable. The good content that should be memorized is the content the Holy Spirit lays on your heart. And that's about as simple as it gets. It's the content that while you're reading the Bible, why, when you hear something, I don't know, I, at times I've, I've heard things before in the Scripture, and I say to myself, now that's it, that's the one, that's it, that's the verse that i got to plug in. That's good content. It's impressionable to you. It's impressionable to me. Memorize the stuff that's impressionable. And basically, that's the stuff that God tells you to memorize. Memorize the stuff God tells you to memorize. Okay? It's much easier to memorize something that makes, a, makes an impact on your life, that makes a mark on your life, than it is to memorize something that, that doesn't change you. Things that change my life, Things that, things that hit me. That, that time that, that it's almost like a, uh, it's almost an emotional experience. That, that stuff is the stuff you want to memorize. You want to plug that in to your brain. That's the good stuff. It, this always makes it easier to recall. This always makes it e easier to recall. You know, it's interesting. I've never... You memorize the stuff that has value. I, I, I've never sat down and memorized a, uh, a phone book. Never had, never had any, any, uh, any inkling, never had any, any, any desire, never, never woke up one morning and said, man, I just want to memorize all the H's in a phone book because my last name starts with an H. And just in case there's other people with the last, last name similar to mine, I want to make sure I get it down. I've never done that. I've never, ever done that. I memorize the stuff that has value. Uh, secondly, so impressionable to you, impactful to others. The verses that are also the easiest to memorize are not only those that help you, but they're the ones that help others. Uh, Proverbs 25.11, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Wonderful verse. 
wonderful verse. Having the right words at the right time for the right person just feels right, doesn't it? It's wonderful. You get excited about that. You ever walk away from a situation and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I had it. Who? Yeah. Like, I feel good. I answered their question. I gave them a good Bible verse. It was God's wisdom. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. It's just as, it has, you, it's like, a, it, doesn't that build like a nice word picture? You can just see, you can just see right here in front of you, you can see over here, you can see this apple. And, and around it, you can see this, this picture frame, can't you? Can you see that? I think it's wonderful to have the right thing to say at the right time to the right person. I had a friend of mine who actually has a ministry where he goes around and he begins to, and he, and he recites scripture. He's 60 some years old. He came here, he came to uh, a, a, another church that I was pastoring at years and years and years ago. And uh, he recited the entire book of Ecclesiastes. And uh, he did it kind of Solomon style. Like he had this chair and he kind of pulled it up and as, as if he was kind of, you know, Solomon preaching, the preacher, by the way. Uh, you know, going through Ecclesiastes, it was really, really neat. And, and um, it was really easy for him to memorize some scripture because he wanted to take the Bible and actually bring it to people on the street. He had other drug addicts, when he was about 30, he had, he had, he had rededicated his life to the Lord, and someone approached him with some scripture, didn't have a Bible, and was reciting verse after verse after verse after verse after verse, and he, he said, man, he says, wow. I can't go, every time I take my Bible to someone on the street, they just kind of, they basically say no. They reject it. So you know what he says? He said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to memorize scripture. He begged God. He said, Lord, if you help me, this is 35 years ago, if you help me to memorize scripture like that, I will take it to everyone. And you know what he did? He went home and began to memorize because it helped others. So not only is Scripture good to memorize when it's impressionable to you, but also when it's impactful to others. And here's, here's another thing. Just enjoy it. Here's a piece of application. Enjoy memorizing Scripture. I tell you, very few things are hard to memorize that I really enjoy. That is to say, the things I enjoy are easy to memorize. I, as a matter of fact, I don't even have to I don't even have to really work on memorizing them. They just kind of happen. I don't know how many big, how many baseball fans and football fans can, uh, can say, well, boy, I sat down with all the charts and I sat down with all the records of all the baseball players and you know what I began to do? I began to memorize. This player had this many RBIs and this player had this many three-pointers and this player had this many this. You know what? They just enjoy it so much that it comes, it comes naturally. It's, it's organic. It just it flows out of their life because they love it. That is how much we should enjoy the scripture. It's God's word, friends. It's God's word to us. And so many times we we, we think of it as, as like a punishment, like, oh, I gotta sit down, I gotta memorize this. Enjoy it. Remember when I was a kid, I had a, uh, I was really big into astronomy, not to be confused with astrology, by the way. Astronomy, the stars, the moons, planets, things like that. And uh, I remember I would, I would, I, I could remember it was the sun, and then it was, it was Mercury, and then Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, right? I mean, it was just this litany of, of planets. You know, you know how long it took me to memorize that? Not long. Because it was just so much fun. I just enjoyed the planets. I enjoyed astronomy. You ask a car lover, same thing. Ask a car lover. You know, my dad could tell you what car was driving down the road. He could tell you what car was driving down the road. And, uh, but you know, as it was coming, it would be a distance off, and he could say, that's a so and so. You know, an old car. Now, not the new car, but the old car. So why? Did he, sit down and say, well, that is what a Buick Skylark looked like back... No, he, he, didn't, he didn't. That's not what he did. He didn't memorize. He enjoyed cars. And not to mention, he saw it enough. 
you see things enough, generally you'll begin to memorize it.